What's up everybody, Double C 128 here. Today I'm going to be bringing you some general tips that you can be using uh, in the new Rose of Garden event boss, Lambda. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the medium difficulty because Expert, I haven't even tried it. Uh, last event, I absolutely got destroyed by the Expert boss. So medium is where it's at for most of us. And like I said, I just want to bring you some general tips and strategies that everybody uh, should and could be using in order to beat this boss. So before I do that, I just got to talk about the team or the units real quick. Uh, the MVPs for sure are these two, Beatrix and Delta, because of their... Uh, knockback abilities so knockback enemy by 200 centimeters which is huge and basically we're looking to get one of these before the lambda boss does her aoe whip attack that's going to be the general idea if we can get one of these on lambda uh, before she does the whip attack it'll put her out of range and it won't hit our units so they're the two MVPs and not to be slept on is this red epsilon that unit that I'm sure everybody has. This skill right here, her passive, when damage is received, she raises her damage by 70%. Guys, that is absolutely massive and she is going to be the real bruiser on this team. She's going to be the one putting in most of the damage for sure. So you might not have noticed this ability because sometimes it doesn't activate in the story. Like they only hit the tank in the story. But we know that this boss has the AoE. So we know she's going to get hit and this will be active. And the third uh, like tip is to kill the new pretty much as soon as possible. We need to kill the new before uh, Landa can heal for two reasons we don't want her to get healed and then waste all that damage and time and two we need to start hitting pushbacks or knockbacks on the lambda boss to get her out of range of our units so let me show the gameplay and real quick like i said uh delta also has the knockback for 200 centimeters uh skill and if you guys have any other strategies i would love to hear about it in the comments because this was pretty hard and if, if there's a better way to doing this like maybe some way to do it on auto i would love to hear about it because i do not want to have to farm this a hundred times like on my own so that first aoe there's nothing we can really do about that but it doesn't hit too hard because she hasn't uh buffed herself yet So I play on 0.5 speed. I think that's pretty important. And now we, our first three strike combo, we're just going to get rid of the new. Uh, full damage on new should take her out in one shot. Look how much this Epsilon does with her 70% buff. Huge damage. So there, Lambda ults. She heals herself and she buffs herself. And she's getting ready to do her whip. And boom, we got the knockback. So that was huge. See how she didn't hit any of our units? And then she's going to do the whip again. So I healed in the middle of it. And this is why you have to play on 0.5 speed. Oh, and she got knocked back again. So she only hit the tank there, I'm pretty sure. So now we're in the clear. Uh, we've survived through the uh, multiple whips, and now we just need to unload on her. Uh, we get the five combo, and at first I'm thinking damage, but she is going to do another whip attack. So here, it's a full defense on the five combo. And this full defense 
is pretty key uh, in order to have the, all my units survive. And we're still doing pretty good damage. And now we're in good shape just because everybody lived the whip. And I'm just like spamming waiting for my ults to come up. And luckily enough, we got the ults up, and she's in range here. And we got it. Just like that. So, those pushbacks is what allows my whole team to survive. The pushbacks is really what you need. I know not everybody has the Beatrix, but the red Delta uh, unit has the pushback also. So, you can definitely just use her. Uh, she's really good for this event, and that's what the damage looks like. Like I said, the, the red Epsilon with her 70% buff really is carrying the damage. And let's, I, let me just show you guys the pushback one more time, just because I thought it was really important to just, like, this middle part is, like, when everything goes down. So it's like really important, I just want you to see that. This is right after she uses her buff. So she's gonna use the AoE after uh, she uses her buff. And right, right there, I think it was Beatrix. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, whiffs, B huge whiff. And then she's getting ready to do it again. And one, I, in the middle of her animation, I heal because I need to make sure everybody lived here. But then two, look, oh, we get the push again and only, she only hits the tank. Absolutely massive. You guys should definitely try to utilize the push strategy. And it definitely will help you uh, beat this pretty tough boss if you don't have any of the event units. And remember, we're using our first three combo right off the bat to kill New. And then we're using the five combo full defense. That way we all our units are able to survive her, I think, third or fourth AoE attack. So I hope you guys are able to beat this on your own accounts. Um, it's definitely very hard but fun like i have fun doing this i however i don't like i said i don't want to have to grind it a hundred times so if anybody has better ideas on how to do it i would love to hear about it uh in the comments below uh i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you got something out of it and i'll see you in the next one peace